Porsche 911 Carrera, arguably the best driver's car for over 50 years. But the new 991.2 Carrera has gotten the biggest change in the history of the Carrera. For the very first time the Carrera comes with forced induction without changing its name to Turbo or GT2. It has a smaller 3 liter boxer engine producing 420 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, which sound promising. But also the interior has been upgraded with a completely new PCM navigation system and a cool looking steering wheel out of the 918 Spider. Let's see if this Carrera is indeed so different. Hi guys and welcome to sunny southern Germany, not southern California this time. And yeah, it's a beautiful day here. We are driving the 991.2 Carrera 4S convertible, the newest Carrera, the turbocharged one. Yes, the alarm bells are ringing, I know it's turbocharged, so obviously the sound isn't quite there anymore as it was before and if you don't believe me just watch our comparison right here Yeah, I think that was proof enough. Um, the old GTS, it sounds, the old GTS, it sounds so incredible. The naturally aspirated engine is just phenomenal. But of course, this new Carrera also has a lot of improvements. So let's concentrate on those for now. This new Carrera definitely can accelerate though. I mean, we have 420 horsepower in this 4S and uh, 500 Newton meters which allows us to accelerate to 100 km per hour uh, in 4.4 seconds with the manual transmission. If we had the PDK in the Sports Chrono package, we could even accelerate in 4 seconds to 100 km per hour. There's just so much more power in this engine. I mean, it has obviously a lot more torque, um, which is what a lot of people said the Carrera was missing. I wasn't one of those people. I mean, yes, it was missing some torque, but it was fun to drive like that. I like having to rev out engines in order to get performance out of them, because that's just how a driver's car should be, in my opinion. Nevertheless, um, for a turbocharged engine, this car is fantastic. I mean, I haven't driven a turbocharged car that sounds that good, good for a turbocharged car and that drives so well. Peak torque comes in very soon at just 1700 rpm and it stays there until 5000 rpm. So it makes this car feel very much naturally aspirated which is fantastic for the drivability. Some people say you know where's the difference now between a Porsche Turbo and a Carrera Turbo. The Carrera Turbo drives totally different. I mean a Turbo, a Porsche Turbo is still a real turbo. You drive and drive and drive, nothing happens, nothing happens, and then BAM! Turbos come in and phew, you go off. This car, totally different. It drives like a naturally aspirated engine, which is on steroids, basically. These cracks and pops out of the exhaust when you let off the throttle, they are pretty nice, I have to say, and they are louder than in the old generation car. But, you know, is that alone enough to call it an emotional sounding car? Not in my opinion. I'd rather have a car sound good under acceleration than, you know, having these backfires when you lift off. 
I'm gonna accelerate full now in six gear. You hear nothing. In the old Carrera, you would hear the engine. That's just so much nicer than this turbocharged sound, in my opinion. I have to say, though, if you drive with the roof down or if it's a Carrera, let's say, then it sounds pretty good. You hear a lot of the boxer motor um, all the way up to top speed. When you drive with the roof down in a convertible, the wind noise at around 100 km per hour, 120, is getting so loud that you barely hear the engine. But with the roof down, it sounds okay. You still have that boxer sound at high RPM, which is pretty nice. What they really improved in this facelift is the steering. The steering feels so much better than in the previous one. It's still an electric steering rack, but you have so much more feedback. Now, it's not at the level of a hydraulic steering again, but it's very, very good. Probably one of the best electric steerings I've driven so far. Yeah, handling-wise, this car is better than ever. We have a rear-wheel steering system. Oh, the car is so agile. It's so agile. I really would like to see this um, drive against a 991.1 Porsche GT3 on some track or something. It's, I think it's, it can get really close because the handling is so good um, and it's so easy. Oh, and it's so stable. I don't know how they do that. I mean, the handling is phenomenal. Other upgrades in the interior. I mean, the PCM system is new, the Porsche Communications Management System. The screen is sort of, you know, matte now, which is okay. And it looks great, it's fast. I mean, it reacts really good, in my opinion, much better than in a Tesla, for example. If I zoom in and out, it, it reacts immediately. So the processor is really fast. It's very easy to use. I think I have never had a car where I could connect my phone easier and faster than here. Not saying that the last one was bad. I never really had a problem with it, but this one is a lot better. The new steering wheel looks so fantastic. It's so much sexier than the old one straight out of the 918 Spider, and it's thicker, you have a better grip, and it looks phenomenal, especially with the new switch down here. It's sort of like in a Ferrari, the Manitino switch. I'm sure Porsche doesn't like to hear that, but yes, I call it the Manitino. We have the normal mode on top. This is uh, the mode the car starts in. Then we have Sport, which will, for example, turn off the start-stop automatic. It will turn on or open the exhaust valves, and, um, it can also, you know, turn on the dampers depending on how you have it set up. I usually leave the dampers off in sport mode because it's nicer to cruise around. And yeah, the sport mode gives you the best sound in this car. Um, it allows it allows these little backfires. If I go into the sport plus mode, the car gets even sharper, but you don't get um, these nice burbles anymore, as you can tell. So for the boulevard or whatever, put your car into sport mode. All Porsche Carreras now come with adaptive dampers. That also increases the comfort of the car since I you know, can ride comfortably or if I put it in sport plus, the suspension gets nice and hard and firm. And yeah, I can of course separately turn it on and off as well. It's not necessarily connected to the switch here on the steering wheel. Yeah, but still, to me personally, I have to be honest, uh, the new Carrera is somewhat disappointing um, because it's just my opinion, you know. You guys know how much I love sound, how much I love the sound of a naturally aspirated motor. And this car just doesn't have it. It's like... Yeah, it's like... And to me, it's it's not that, that engaging anymore, unfortunately. I let some... You know, Porsche owners as well drive this car, who have the previous generation car, and they're pretty happy that they have the last naturally aspirated Carrera because it just, it's just more emotional. It's, it's more fun to drive, in our opinion at least. But you know, one thing that's very important to me is you can't blame Porsche for going turbocharged. I mean, they have no choice um, because of all the government regulations. And you know, a turbocharged engine is just so much more efficient in a um, testing scenario where they test the fuel consumption of cars um, that they just have to go turbocharged. In real life, however, turbocharged engines, let me tell you, they are not more efficient at all. Unless you really only use your throttle 10 to 20%, but other than that, 
as soon as you're gonna accelerate a few times you're gonna burn through fuel like a mother yeah. you know it's like the gray area that car manufacturers have to use in order to even build cars because the regulations are just so incredibly strict and impossible to achieve that they have no other way than going turbocharged but thankfully Porsche is still thinking about the enthusiasts and still build naturally aspirated engines for the Porsche GT3, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'm so happy that Porsche is able to still do that. So this will remain the enthusiast car, while this one will go with the time, you know, of the 21st century and go turbocharged. Probably the next one will be a hybrid and then the one after that maybe even full electric already who knows but again for a turbocharged car the new Carrera is fantastic if you are okay with having a turbocharged car if you're the real enthusiast then I would go for the 991.1 generation especially the GTS model and there are some on the market on the second hand market for around $150,000 I checked um, because you know would be a nice investment as well because I'm sure in 10 years time or something the price would probably double for these cars. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. My name is Kai. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at KGroshi. And I'll see you guys next time on Groshi Automotive. Take care. Uh, but the best way to test this car, I think, is to go on the Autobahn.